This afternoon we can say hail to the champs. They're all of 12, 13 and 14 years old and they are already mastering some difficult subjects, science, math and engineering. The Wooddale Junior High students just won a state championship in the future city competition. Now they're taking on competitors from across the country. Oh my God, I don't want to cut the wire. Though they are barely into their teenage years, they happily made an enormous sacrifice to take on a big challenge. I came in extra in the mornings. I came in during lunch. I came after school on extra days. Maybe 40, 50, 60 extra hours into this. I mean, that came out of my sleep. That came out of the time I eat. The payoff for the Wooddale Junior High School students was first place in the Chicago Regional Future City competition. It's the second year in a row they've won this title a test of their creativity and science and math talents. This is where the bush goes. Dan West, a teacher at Wooddale Junior High, started the Science, Technology, Engineering and Math, or STEM program at the school. I think that's good. He's their coach. For me personally, it, it's really a dream come true. I absolutely love this Future City program. I think what it does for kids and getting them interested in engineering um, is second to none. This year's theme was Waste Free Future. So the students here created a plan for cleaning up pollution in the Nile River, 6,000 miles away. We thought, well, if we can take that trash out of the Nile and reuse it, we're not only helping pollution at its source, we're taking materials that would normally just be floating in an ocean and we can use that in our city. It is a grueling competition. The students not only had to build this model, but also had to write a 1500 word essay and answer difficult questions from experts. And it really forces them into the, to the world of engineers. They're being tested by engineers. They're being judged by engineers. <laughs> At a time when schools and employers are trying to recruit more young women into STEM fields, half of this winning team is made up of girls, including 13 year old Hannah Dadinsky. I think that this whole Future City, it really inspired me to do something in the engineering field and how to make the world a better place. Zoya Ziki, 14, has her eye on space. What would you like to be? Oh, well, I've heard that a lot of people say this, but I, I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> when they got word they won the regional competition, the team was ecstatic. And then I heard my name and I shut up and I hugged everyone. I started screaming and it was, I think it was one of the best moments in my life. There we go. Now it's on to the national competition, representing the state of Illinois. It seems they're up to the challenge. And what's awesome about this is this is teaching these kids about real world problems that they're going to be facing in their lifetime. The national competition began last weekend and it continues this weekend. Mr. West, the teacher, marvels at their poise under pressure. That's amazing. So trash from the Nile repurposed. Yes. I watch stories like this and I think, you know what? I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. With these kiddos involved. 6,000 miles away, they took on this project. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jeff.